Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial, we will see that how we can call an API in the Laravel. So basically, maybe you have first question is here in the Laravel. Basically, we just make the API and how, why we just call or consume the API in the Laravel. So sometimes we also need to fetch the API in the Laravel also. For example, uh, we just want to fetch some data from the Google map, from the Facebook, from the Twitter. And that time we also need to consume the API in the Laravel. So now let's see the points of the video. So as you know that why we will consume the API, I already discussed with you. Now uh, we just have to make a controller, view, router, and we have to write the code for call API. And after that we will show the listing of the data. All right. So now let's start. So this is the basically API that we are just call in the Laravel here you can see that this is a basically simple URL and we when just consume it you will get this JSON data right so now let's start so first of all I'm just going to start with the, the making a controller so just open the command prompt and just write a command PHP artisan make controller and controller name so let's say my controller name is profiles and just hit the enter now you can see that the controller is created for get the controller you just have to go inside the app HTTP controller and you will find the controller here after that let's pick a view right so that we can just show this uh, JSON data in the HTML let's go in the resource folder views and let's create a new file with the name of profile profiles dot blade dot php now let's make a route for the controller and open the web dot php file here just simply write here route and get and just provide the uh, route name let's say we just use the profile and let's put the uh, controller name which is profiles profiles and the function name so I will make a function inside the controller with the name of uh, list, right? Perfect. So now control is also ready. Now you can see that the basically four steps are clear. Now let's start the writing the code for the API consume. So now let's open the basically uh, controller. Let's uh, just click on the profile.php and let's make a function here and function name as I told you in the web.php we will make a name with the list and in this list we will consume the API but before that we must have to import the namespace for uh, the library HTTP so that it can help us to uh, consume the API so just basically write here use illuminate support and facet and our package name which is HTTP we don't need to include this package in the Laravel 7 if you are using the previous version before the Laravel 7 then you must have to include uh, manually otherwise this is by default included in the Laravel 7 so now just basically write here return HTTP double colon get and put this URL basically so just copy this URL from here and let's paste it and now you can just find your body and now let's see when we just put here profiles uh, let me check the URL which is provided in the route which is a profiles basically right so now let's um, just try to hit it okay so mm, 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 let me check maybe there is some error okay this is also profiles and just let me correct it now you can see that uh, there is some problem I actually forgot to put the colon now you will get this API here as in JSON data here you can see that this is completely JSON data alright but basically 
Laravel, if you are working with the Laravel, you may just want this data in the array. Then just you need to provide here JSON and you will just get it inside the JS, uh, array format. But now still you are able to see this data inside the uh, JSON format. Now let's pass this data to the view. So just write a return view and view name our view name is basically profiles and uh, now just take an array and let's put the key with the name of data or anything else that you want and uh, let's take this uh, data in inside any variable so let's take this data as the same variable like this right now let's put the semicolon and now let's see that you will just get a blank page here now like this because the profiles uh, blade.php is loaded here and just we'll see that uh, data list let's make a simple heading here and now you can see that but how we are able to see the data here for the data you basically have to put here double curly brackets and just write here print r and just put dollar data right now let's try to see this and refresh it again now you can see that this data inside the array format and but this is not a readable format that's how we can put this data inside the uh, list right so for putting inside the list you actually must have to go with the for each loop so just write here at the rate for each and let's put that dollar data as dollar item and now let's uh, close it right just use here and for each all right and let's take a uh, ul here so that we can just show a complete list here and within this loop let's take ally and in the double curly brackets just write your dollar item and in the quote you can also provide the title right why I just provide the title here because you can see that in this API data you have a uh, some keys like user ID ID title and the body so I just put this title inside uh, the list so that we are able to see the title so now let's try to refresh it and uh, yeah we are ready the api have the lots of data so it may take a little bit slow yep now you can see that we got a complete list here right so if you just want to show here body then you can also show the body with it so let's say just uh, take a p tag here and uh, the similar data let's take um at three tag and show it here and the similar data i can just show it here with the body right so now let's uh, try to re-render re it okay so actually uh, yeah now you can see that in the bold data we actually have the title and in the normal letter we have the body like this if you if you just want to match it you can match it right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion about api consume in the laravel and anything else you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care